Well, here we are for a brand new unboxing segment. This is on the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman action figure. This is a 7 inch scale. Definitely aimed at the adult collector, although they are comic properties such as Batman. Superman is also in this wave from the uh, Rebirth series, Superman 1000. We also have animated Superman, animated Batman, Justice League Green Lantern, and I believe there was a Harley Quinn as well in this assortment. Those are the only ones that I saw in this. But as you can see, it is, um, you know, definitely geared towards the adult collector, 12 and up. Uh, 22 points of articulation. So this will be an interesting uh, unboxing. And as you can see from the back of the uh, box here, the Batman Detective Comics 1000 is the issue that's highlighted here. This is the cover art from that. Um, it says collect them all. And of course they're um, hyping up some of the other characters that they have in this assortment, such as Harley Quinn, like we mentioned. Um, you know, the Green Lantern and the aforementioned action figures. Um, also the Nightwing, which is an interesting uh, thing. But more can be seen on McFarlane Toys website as far as uh, some of the other products that they have coming out, both in the DC universe as well as some of their other properties. So as you can see here, other sides of the box are the Batman Detective Comics highlighting issue number 1000. This was after the Rebirth, the new 52 Rebirth, uh, with the McFarlane's logo and the DC Multiverse. The bottom has the um, safety information and made in China as well as the um, package number, serial number, that sort of thing. This side of the box is basically just the open face into the Batman window. And then of course the top is you know, seen down into the figure as it appears in the box. So cool thing about this is that it does look very nice on display. And, of course, we are not going to leave it on display. We are going to unbox it here so you can see some of the articulation. It boasts 22 moving parts. So um, we're going to get right into that and see what we're looking at as far as articulation, posability, displayability, and that sort of thing. It looks like, uh, as you can see from looking through the window box, um, it's fairly light on accessories. I don't know what that's going to pan out for. He has a batarang and, you know, of course... Uh, his grappling hook but um, we'll definitely take a look at the figure in more detail now during the unboxing so this is uh, fairly typical of most of McFarlane toys packaging has the uh, seals on the top not the typical uh, you know Mattel or Hasbro tape it's the nice uh, round tapes so you will have to break through that um, but if you open it, open it from the bottom, you can maintain a lot of the uh, the collectability of the box and uh, storability, so you can go back into it. So bottom flap opens up and allows you to slide the figure out. So first thing you can see is the quality of the figure inside very nice paint job so far on it you know it has the uh, vacuum formed shell on the inside it keeps the figure from falling all over place and shipping of course and uh, of course the back of the carton has the figure display stand and uh, the collectible trading card again this is the artwork from Batman Detective Comics 1000 As for the figure itself, you can see the cape coming through a hole in the back of the vacuum formed liner. Looks like a lot of detail in that. And it also has these little uh, ties, which are different than most of the twisty ties that you see in package art. This one is, um, you know, it has the uh, clear, kind of stretchy vinyl plastic. Um, it's always a booger to get out. Um, makes it harder to also uh, return the figure to the carton. You know, if you're planning on storing it. But these usually break out of the way. 
and then the figure can be removed carefully from the container. But the cape is um, somewhat poseable. Figures are, you know, the points of articulation are also quite, quite nice. Has full range of motion on the head, so posability is nice. Cape somewhat limits how his, uh, you know, arms can pose, which is always nice to see a Batman figure that has posability and like a cloth cape. But this, to um, you know, maintain the uh, aesthetics of it. Of course, it's sculpted in in a, you know, PVC. But he seems to have good range of motion in the waist, in the head. You can look down, look up, all, you know, range of motion. He does have a double. A double bend in the elbow which sometimes those are hit or miss sometimes it damages the uh, aesthetics of the figure the way it looks and of course a ball joint with swivel and also you know up down movement on the hands this one only comes with one pair of hands so you know he has somewhat limited you know compared to the Superman the Superman figure um, which we did not unbox on camera has you know multiple sets of hands as well Good range of motion on the thighs. There's an interesting joint in here that uh, you know conceals well when it's down. But if you're doing, you know, dynamic poses, you might see that in the way. And then of course it has the rotation, double knee joint as well, and the ball joint in the uh, in the foot as well as the toe joint. So that can be posed as well. So not a whole lot of posability in the cape just because of the material it is. I suppose you could get funky and, you know, kind of bend it up, but that, you know, shows a lot of the details on this. We'll probably do a customization show where we show you how to maybe do some interesting things with this figure. Um, the neck, since it's a part of the cape, as you can see, that'll be a trick when we're customizing, but um, this may be a good figure to customize a little bit. Good detail on the face, reminiscent of a, of a hybrid Jim Lee, but not too bad. Good paint job overall. A little bit of flashing on the figure, which is fairly common, but the overall appearance of the figure is very nice. So we'll get this on the stand so you can see how it, uh, how it looks posed. Overall, posability is really good, and as you can see, you can get a nice dynamic pose, even with the encumbrance of the cape. Um, but uh, the, the base itself features the DC logo, has one peg hole, uh, but that's all you really need to display this figure. It has, um, you know, if I'm being honest, the uh, grappling hook, you know, having the permanent uh, cord attached to it is a little odd, you know, as far as displays go, but can be easily customizable if you're not worried about uh, maintaining the value of the figure. Looks good from all angles as far as that dynamic cape. Um, we really like the way that that looks and that'll display very nicely. There's a good organic flow to the cape and the scallops at the bottom, of course. Looks like a very nice figure. Um, very much on par with the, you know, the DC uh, figures, the, the ones that are diamond direct to the stores. Um, but anatomy is very, very good. Paint is also very good. Um, you know, if I'm giving a very, um, you know, critical paint uh, assessment, you know, it's a little bit monochromatic. There's not a lot of shading or dry brushing on it. Um, the, the face is fairly flat, but I mean, you know, you would expect that from a mass release action figure. Um, since it is more from the New 52, of course, the, the costume has its armored look. He does have his trunks on, as well as a very Frank Miller-esque bat symbol on the front. Um, I guess uh, as far as the sculpt goes, I would definitely give it very high marks. This is a very well-sculpted figure, uh, which is very typical for the McFarlane toy line. Um, accessories, I would give probably a 5 out of 10 because you don't get a whole lot. Of course, you have to have the, the obligatory, um, the batarang and the grappling hook, but you would just expect that maybe with a figure like this at this price point of about $20, that it would maybe have some additional uh, hands, maybe an additional head sculpt or something like that. But 
overall, this is a very, very nice figure. I'm, of course, I'm a little more critical because we do toy prototypes here in the studio as well. So I'm giving you a very critical look of it, but uh, I want to cover all the bases and be as honest as I can. Um, you know, but overall, the detail and quality is very, very nice on this figure. I would definitely rate it in the high nines to be certain. Now here he, we have him with, um, of course, Superman uh, from the same series, Series 1 of the McFarlane Multiverse DC figures. Um, Superman's head is a little bit larger than the Batman's, which I, you know, I can give or take that. They're still going to display really, really well, but the head sculpt is very, very small, although the body is on par, similar scale and everything. But you see it also here with a Marvel Legends figure which is uh, more in the six inch scale, I would say. Um, McFarlane is definitely more in the seven inch range. And we also have it with the new NECA, um, Freddy Krueger, the ultimate Freddy Krueger with the posability and everything, um, which is definitely more human proportions, but still in that seven inch scale. Um, so you see how it kind of uh, levels up. They'll still really display well, um, I would consider them still pretty much in the same scale, although the Marvel Legends are extremely small compared to this, but those are on a 6-inch scale, not a 7-inch collector scale. So there it is, completely unboxed, ready for display in your collection. Um, beautiful color box art, uh, nice detail on the card as well with the bio for Batman uh, and Bruce Wayne great reproduction of the cover art of uh, Detective Comics 1000. Overall, a very nice figure. I would rate it in the mid to high nines as far as overall quality to value and playability. This is a nice figure. They're on shelves now. Uh, this one I got at Walmart, of course, but they are at most mass retail now. Um, I assume Walgreens will be carrying them as well as they also carry McFarlane toys and online at all the regular places. Big Bad Toy Store, entertainment earth um, you know so I would definitely say it's worth the investment um, we'll probably revisit this and maybe uh, look at doing a customization to it just to see how that works uh, maybe adding a cloth cape or a vinyl cape to it um, so maybe we'll readdress that in a in a future um, episode but this kind of gives you a, a cool idea of the figure and the quality that you're gonna see with it I would definitely recommend you go out and get it and get it quick um, the Superman and the Batmans from both the comic style as well as the animated uh, versions, they're going fast. So these are the ones to grab. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little quick mini review. And if you have any questions, you can always follow us at the link um, and message us. Um, we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.